Welcome back. I'm Tommy the Angry Craftsman. Today starts a new adventure and a series of videos on the Thunder Laser Aurora 8 5 watt UV uh, laser. So when you get delivery, um, it should come on a maybe a small box truck like ours did or a, a smaller or larger truck and trailer. Who knows what it's going to show up with. Um, we got it off the truck and now um, just take a look around the box and make sure that there's no massive damage which we've already done it a few little things here and there um, but once you figure that out now it's time to open it so grab your pair of scissors and uh, straps your laser may come in a cardboard box like this one or come in a wooden crate uh, I don't know what they're doing we've had two arrive and one of them is in this cardboard box and one of them was in a wooden crate so now we got them out of the way uh, let's take the top off and see what we can come up with okay tops off we have what looks like our hose clamps and then up in the top is our accessory bag we'll take a look at this here shortly uh, the, the model and serial number, and then what appears to be instructions of how to use it and how to set it up. Uh, so we may start uh, scanning some of these QR codes, especially this one for Thunder Laser USA, uh, see what we can get to. So, uh, okay, now that it's off, let's lift straight up. And we'll walk this out of the way. And now we can visually inspect what we have. And then we'll take it out of the plastic uh, and move it inside. And we'll pick back up in there. Okay, so we managed to get it inside. We left the plastic on it and the styrofoam on the bottom. All we did was slide it off the pallet. Um, most people should be able to figure that one out. And before I forget, we went ahead and scanned the QR code on the piece of paper that came up. And the one for the QR code for Thunder Laser USA takes you to the knowledge base. And so does the one for China. And so does the one for China. Uh, it takes you to all that information. Uh, so hopefully maybe one day it'll link this video or another video that you can watch and walk through the steps. So now we're just going to open this up. Christmas morning. Now again, I'm visually inspecting it uh, and we're gonna start opening up doors while it's on the floor just to take a look because once I set it in place, it's going to be a little difficult to get the camera there. So the form or the piece of paper installation instructions, uh, choose where to locate the Aurora and it talks about the fans that are back here on this side and then the next thing is unboxing and unpacking your laser um, and I'll get to that in a minute but let's take a look at the top so the way the top lid pull this up and rotate it and now we have the TL timer uh, all the the wiring uh, it's clean as ever just like Thunder's known for. Uh, here is where all the uh, USBs or the hubs come into and then the circuit board. So, and now we'll shut this. Set that out the way. And maybe. <clears throat> Same thing applies, lift it up. And you can see now we start seeing where, I'm gonna lift this up. And we can start seeing how everything is stored in here for transportation. So here is one and two exhaust hoses and some styrofoam up in there. 
I don't know that I'm excited about all that being sitting on the circuit boards and whatnot, but you can see the duct work that's already built in. And there's the JPT uh, UV source. And then here should be the fan. And we knew we were getting the wrong cable. Uh, so I just have to get a hold of tech support and get them to mail us the right one. We'll slide this up out of the way. And finish pulling the rest of the parts out. And we'll shut this back up and then we are going to... I'm going to spin this so you can see while we're doing this. And we're going to get this off of this, unless I can just rip it so you can see. And now we have our exhaust port, we have our power plug, and then we have our plug for the fan. And I will go through plugging these things in here shortly before we move it and put it in place. So we've opened up what comes inside your little pouch. Uh, you've got the power cable, uh, a standard cable that comes with uh, all the thunders the same uh, lock style this one label 15 amp um, you have your key with your thumb drive which we're going to get to shortly uh, q-tips or whatever you want to call them your bulb to blow off any excess dust off the lenses uh, a set of allen wrenches uh, screwdriver phillips head and then this is your uh, cable that connects your computer to uh, the UV. We will not be using this. We run Mac. So we have a specific one that fits that goes to our Mac. We'll just steal it back and forth from our fiber until we order a new one. Uh, but for those running Windows or you have a dongle or whatever, uh, this is the, the cable that you're going to use. So we'll move over here. We've got a few other things put together um for the back of the machine so we got our power cable our power cable is going to go into the back here goes in twist and locks now the next plug here is going to be for the fan the fans controlled by the tl timer so it turns on and off as you need it that just goes in there and then our USB once I can pay attention to how it goes there we go and that hooks up now the next thing we'll do is we'll attach the um, exhaust hose to the back and walk you through setup of the fan. So just with any other of the thunders, all this does is slip over. Uh, you, it comes with uh, clamps or hose clamps. However, so this will go on and then put your clamp on to hold it in place. And then we'll move over here to the fan. So here's the fan that's provided. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see. You have an arrow right there. Arrow goes, the arrow goes in the direction the air flows, which is that way, which is going to be out. Don't put it in upside down. But again, there's your clamp. There's a clamp. And then we've got it vented towards our window and out the window with a blast gate. Now that we're all hooked up, take your key. Turn it on. Make sure your emergency stop is released. You'll notice all the green lights light up. And 
the touch pad. Now I'm lowering the head so I can visually inspect the optics or the lens. So now here, here's the, the lens. And then here's your camera. We'll get to that, I guess. To remove the lens, you just twist. And you'll see this one is a F170 millimeter. And I twist it back in, and that's how you remove the lens.